Hello everybody and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2, Episode 2. <laughs> yes, uh, and we are back where we were before at the end of Episode 1, where we have been transported over to Washington, where we have to deal with poachers, apparently. Um, yeah, I'll deal with this crap. <laughs> but, uh, yeah... Uh, if I press space bar, apparently it pauses everything going on, but I can still move this stuff. Like, see, tyrannical is 912, then if I press space again, 911, 910, and then, um, yeah, I press space again, and it pauses. You know, so it's kind of useful to use that when we're actually talking. But, yeah, this place is a massive mess, and it needs to be cleaned up immediately, so I think that we should get to that real quick. Uh, so let's see. Here, let me just unpause it. Washington State established an operational facility containing the following. A rival point, control center, and backup generator. I think that should go there. I don't know, why don't we put that right next to it? They look really nice right next to each other. Let's put it right here. Boom. Now, I just gotta connect it to the non existent path that exists. That will. It can't be non existent and exist at the same time. <laughs> Apparently, all you have to do is connect the two. Not bad, if I do say so myself, and I guess I am, but we're also going to need a response facility. Your response to this directive should be to get one built. Huh? You see what I did there, huh? <laughs> response, response. Uh, never mind, don't respond. Oh, Cabot Finch, you can go shut your at. There you go. And now let's put some pathway down. Right there. Go right up there. And right there. And et voila. Perfect. That looks nice. Now let's turn this disgusting poacher's camp into a nice, beautiful enclosure. And we'll want them awake and as comfortable as possible. Oh god. Those guns are gonna be awake in five minutes? Okay. Is that it? I think that's it, because I don't see any, like, any other missing power signs. Okay, now let's make ourselves some enclosures. Okay. Asset Here, uh... Why don't we send our ranger team to status check these two. So let's put that there. And then let's put a pathway here, and connect it there, and then let's take another one here, and we will do this, and voila, and then is that a gala mi mi mama mi 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 mama mi mama mi 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 mas? It is. Go, go through the gate. Ah, These guys are on the border of their comfort. Surprised they're comfy in this frickin' box. Uh, here. So what else are they missing? Oh, they're with their environment. Oh, they don't have enough area. Hmm. don't have enough water, they don't have enough sand. Wow, they need a lot of sand. Wow, these guys need a lot more than I thought they did, actually. So, ooh, and their comfort is dropping heavily. So, here, let's just do this real quick. So, there you go. And now let's demolish this gate. And now let's demolish all of this. There you go, look at all that space you have now. Alright. 
And now, uh, let's see. How's the view like on this? Wow. Pretty much the whole thing. But, like I said before, things are going to get funneled in there. Very weirdly. Oof. Oh, wow. Okay. They just instantly broke through the fence. Uh, whoopsie. Drank those guys. That's gonna suck. Uh, but, you know, hey, whatever. At this point, it was bound to happen. They woke up, a, they woke up way too fast for me to be able to, um... One of the Karnos has an undiagnosed ailment? Oh wow, he just freaking straight up ran into the forest. How far away can these things go? I had better make uh, one of these. Yes, I learned from last time. Alright, both the Karnos are down. They're out, they're gonna be out for a minute. Uh, where's sand? There it is. Okay. So they need a lot of sand, it seems. Here, why don't we do this? Let's make their lake. Whoops, I let me click out of that. Let's make their lake. The part that has the sand. Uh, do I have to flatten this stuff out? Oh my god, I keep clicking out of it. I forget everything is on here. Literally everything is here, so... I think I have to flatten everything. How does that look? A little weird. But it works, so... Now let's try it. Now let's see if the water will work here. No. But you know what? I think that's fine. So let's just add a bunch of... Oh my god, how many times am I going to click out of that crap? I don't like that. That's all in the same place. Uh, now let's add sand all around the lake. Yeah, that looks good. Because it seems like they need loads of sand. There you go. That looks kind of cool. And now, what else were they missing? Water, sand, prey, and open space. Can I have this thing? Tranquilize that. No, I can't. But wait, can I manually do it? Go to sleep. Or not. I guess not. Okay. All right, mate. Go, go, status check those boys. I think their status is definitely better than before. So here, why don't we make one of those things? Uh, these. Holy cow. That is a massive area. And you know what? Why don't we put it right there? Paleo medical facility. Okay, this is what I need. Hmm, where should I build this? Wow, this thing. This is a pretty bigger, uh, pretty big place. Um, I think the best area to put it would probably be right here. Oh, that's out of range of the power. Damn it. Uh, whatever. I'll just have to build another, another power thing. We're gonna need it eventually anyways, so. Oh, well. Um, here. Why don't I build this? Why don't I just build it right next to it? And. Boom. We don't really have a shortage of money right now, so. Undiagnosed ailment. What is your undiagnosed ailment, buddy? Ooh, okay. Vet unit. There you go. Medical scan. That's what I needed to do. 
And then I'll take this ranger team right here and assign it to this. Boom. So that galley just exists in this enclosure now. It, 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 it serves no purpose. Man, yeah, these guys are, they're, they're well off, I guess. They're sort of okay. This still doesn't have enough sand? Jesus. How much sand does this son of a gun need? Injury. S swallowed phone. Are you serious? Oh! So that's what this damn ringing's been the whole time. Deliver to facility. Tranquilize and transport to a paleo medical facility. Okay. Cause eating guests. <laughs> that's that's messed up. Okay, so I have to tranquilize this guy. It says tranquilize and transport to a paleo medical facility. So then let's do that. Let's transport this dude. Oh yeah, there. All right, perfect. Okay. Oh, so it just automatically brings you to that screen. Treat injury, swallowed phone. All right. Um. <laughs> He only has a teeny bit of unrest. Traits positive influence. And now let's... Hmm. It says plus zero on that. Uh, so I guess this guy just isn't capable of doing it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. So Washington State. Ensure the Carnotauruses have 80% comfort. And ensure the Carnotauruses are available... Are visible. From a uh, research viewing gallery. Yeah, okay. How do I get another scientist? Let's see. Let's get some more fuel. View scientists, okay. Recruit new scientists. Now let's see here. Let's, uh, build another staff center for more. Misplaced possessions need to be extracted from a dinosaur's stomach and returned to their owner or next of kin. What the hell? Really? Just leave the damn phone. Isn't the owner dead? So they're missing sand. So let's give them some more sand, I think, I guess. How much sand, how much more sand do they need? Uh, they need probably about 50% sand, so let's give it to them, I guess. Um, sand. And now let's just wrap it all around here. Now let's see how, how they are. Wow, 100%. Nice. So they've got just enough area, just enough sand. And their water and open space. Well, uh, their stuff is, they're good. They're good. Habitation. Oh. They had dangerous animals here? Correct, Mr. Finch. We know where they were. But now, Mr. Grady, it's essential that we know where they are. I know my dinosaurs. I'd say they're headed off in this direction. And do you know your dinosaurs, Mr. Grady? Better than anyone. But these are not your dinosaurs, per se. You're just gonna have to trust me on this one. Okay, so, um, yeah, I, I remember clicking down on the missions before. Oh, oh, ah! Ooh. I clicked down on the missions on the bottom right of the screen, and one of them was to get the Cornotauruses to 80% comfort, and I guess I did that, so now we're moving on to the next thing. This looks promising. You know, not that I'm promising anything. Ooh. Oh, hey, it's a dead deer. Everything points in this direction. Large carnivore. So I think it's just gonna get like more and more detailed that but with every uh um everything that I find. Alright, another gal my mess. Oh god. Speed So it's another one. Large carnivore, okay about the dinosaurs, but they're not stuck. Wherever they go, they leave a mark. Sounds like someone I know. Is it 
Dr. Malcolm, because that guy, he is out there. Talk about an ego. Hmm, as opposed to... Well, you know, a certain lovable animal behaviorist whose humility has a charm of its own. Oh, <laughs> lovely. All right, so it looks like this is another one. Allosaurus. So, this is the right direction, I think. I have a feeling this pathway is. This is like the pathway we're supposed to follow. Man, the car controlling in this game is so smooth. Man, we're getting speed. Source. Just be ready for anything, all right? Yes, Owen, we already know what it is. Now that guy looks sick. Owen, are you okay? What is happening? A little busy right now. Please tell me you have things under control. Do you want me to lie? If it'll calm my anxiety, yes. I'm a bundle of raw nerves. We're working the problem. Lovely. Let's get this sucker down. Helicopter standing by, and they'll attempt to tranquilize the animal from the air. Attempt? Attempt? <laughs> we need success, Dr. Zimla, before it can eat Brady and the others. Don't worry, you'll get it, you whiny son of a gun. There. Easy peasy. Now stop whining. Owen, what's our status? We're close. We have everything almost under control, but the awesome. animal is injured. We'll need to get her to a secure enclosure for observation and treatment. Doesn't look very. Bye, Doctor Dua. Oh, me? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Don't look very injured to me. I huh. am the government. So, likes Comptonathus, Albertosaurus, Majungasaurus, dislikes carnivores. And then what about this guy? Okay, interesting. So, they actually will per they actually are fine with being cohabitated with three these three creatures. Even though they're carnivores. So, interesting. All right. So, Time to build an Allosaurus enclosure. Probably needs to be pretty damn big. So, let's do this. Alright. There. Good enough. That looks pretty nice. Alright, now let's add a gate. Let's put a gate right here. Why don't we do this? Oh god. I think I messed up, didn't I? They always do. So let's put the gates right there so that it's easily accessible from one to the other. And then let's put a gate right here. And then how about also right here? There. And now. Let us put a viewing gallery. Here. Yeah. Boom. Oh no. For some reason it snapped out of place the damn thing. Alright, now let's get go we'll get the boy. Oh wow. His health is actually depleting pretty rapidly. Let's put you right there. To pick up the asset. Yeah, after I look at that guy. How quickly is this guy's? Okay. His health is not depleting at all. He's just got an annoying ringtone inside of his stomach. Does that remind you of anything, huh? Bet you it is. 
All right, so let's put give this guy some water. Let's make his enclosure look a little bit nicer than the other one. Because I definitely want his enclosure to look pretty nice. Heck yeah. All right. And you know what? Let's do some decorating to this enclosure too. Let's add some trees and stuff around here. So I'm pretty sure putting trees and stuff there doesn't override their sand, does Asset it? Well, actually, they do have a little bit less sand right now. They're like on the border of their sand preferences. So I'm not going to put any more. So let's see. What happens if I try transporting this guy over now? Drink the boy. And where is the aloe? There's the aloe. Now, let us... Oh yeah, I need. I still need to add... Some of this. Let's put one of these there. And one of those. Here. And here, let's just do this ourselves. Over here. Do some epic drifting, and then I'm pretty sure we should just be able to come over here. Ah, uh, okay. Oh god, move out of the way. Ah! Jesus. Alright. He is literally right here. Guys are hurting, isn't it? Assets check complete. I'm going to need a paleo medical facility to assess the status of the dinosaur that they're bringing in. Missing forest. We'll need to do a full medical scan. I want to understand what went wrong if we're going to avoid an event like this in the future. How much force do you need, buddy? Uh, not that much more, but you definitely need more. Uh, so environment, and then boom. Provide support, support. There you go. And let's just smother it up. Now what you're missing. You still missing forest. This is like replacing all the other trees with better trees. There you go, buddy. Now you got plenty of forest. You're looking kind of foresty, not gonna lie. Alright, uh, hmm. So this guy needs to be transported. But right here, let's see about this guy first. And I can't do that? Jeez. Okay. I guess that's not a priority. Collecting asset. Okay, and now let us trank the aloe. Well, you know what? Why don't we trank the aloe ourselves? Let's get to it. And boom. He is an out. He is out like a light. If only they were out like a light, just like an arc. <laughs> I mean, if, that, if only they were out like a light like this, an arc. Two darts. Oh, are you serious? Requires major injury. It does have a major injury, goddammit. Wait. 
Oh! Oh. Mm. These things are pretty cool. Go heal the boy. Go heal the sleepy aloe. Injured major fracture. Delivered a facility. That's what I was doing, goddammit. Forgot uh, that the ailment was still unidentified. So. Delivered to facility. Uh, okay. So then, how do I get another scientist? Recruit scientists with a combined welfare skill of three. Okay. He's a scientist. I think I need to get rid of Nakamura. Fire scientists. Fire him for existing. Yes. Okay. And now, welfare. I could have just gotten this damn guy. Three welfare, two genetics, and two logistics. Wow, that's a good deal. God damn. That's a good deal. Give me that guy. Right. Now that we have control of the dinosaur, temporarily, let's get it transported to the paleo medical yes, facility. Where I know. We can treat its injuries. That's what I've been trying to do, lady. All right. Injury. Use the MVU to diagnose dinosaur injury using a medical scan. Major injuries require special treatment at the paleo medical facility. Dinosaurs need to be transported directly into the facility. Assign scientists to treat the injury while the, the dinosaur is at the paleo medical facility. Alrighty, I got it. Thank you very much for the tip that I already kind of knew. Okay, um... There. Boom. There. Easy peasy. There. Acknowledging asset collection request. Perfect. Oh my god. I'm missing everything. This guy just got wrecked. He got yeeted. And there's a door. This guy's getting annoyed by that stupid phone, isn't he? Oh god. Uh, yeah. You getting a good view of the Carnotaurus right in your face? Get your stupid butt out of there. Oh wow, okay, well, apparently it's completed, so that works. I didn't expect to complete it like that. We'd worked to make sure the dinosaurs would thrive in the forest. At first, I believed this was for the best. Then we realized that forest makes up about one-fifth of the total land mass in the U.S. and almost 40% of Canada's wilderness. Working together with the DFW and the CIA, we made the dinosaurs feel right at home. In. The. Forest. <sighs> I really hope the powers that be know what they're doing. Because the dinosaurs definitely do. What is that supposed to mean? Well, looks like we're going into Pennsylvania, apparently. The only way to fly, right? Private. Away from the hubbub of the public. No prying eyes asking wordless questions. I don't feel much like answering. <laughs> now, call me crazy. You wouldn't be the first. <laughs> but we need to centralize our operations. And that's why I've chosen this location. Well, okay, I didn't choose it myself, but I was part of the process. <laughs> I mean, I got the memo. 
The Appalachians have long been a place where people can kind of Gallies. disappear, whether on their own or with the help of someone else. So, why not the dinosaurs? Well, okay then. <laughs> Pull a few strings, grease a few palms, twist a few arms, and bang! Just like that, the Department of Fish and Wildlife has a new base of operations. Now, we'll need to hit the ground running if we're going to have this place ready for something it hasn't dealt with in 65 million years. The bare bones are established, but before the ones covered in flesh and blood arrive, we'll need it fully functioning. Owen and Claire are already on site. They'll have more info for you. Dr. Dua will be coordinating your activities. And me. I'll be managing expectations and staying an arm's length away from the meat of sources. <laughs> oh, wait. Arm's length is probably not the best choice of words. We may need some additional hands on this one. Mr. Lambert? Standing by and ready to go. Hey! Just give the word. George Lambert is Slambert. an expert ranger who worked with us in the islands and is now with the DFW. The he and Owen will deal with the dinosaurs while we address the facilities. There are a number of animals from your previous catches that will be coming your way soon. Delays are unacceptable. Understood. We'll start with the construction of animal enclosures. We'll catch them, you keep them. Lambert was the guy in the first game that loved releasing carnivores and watching them eat people. <laughs> Alright. Delivery of captured Carnotaurus incoming in th one and a half minutes. Are you serious? No. I'm sorry, but I cannot accept that. <laughs> um, well, you know what? Let's just hurry this up. I'm gonna wrap this up here. <laughs> this was a really fun episode. It ended up kind of it ended kind of abruptly. I know the Washington mission was a little bit messy, but it was still really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to smash that like button and hit and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell and I will see you in the next one. Bye you guys.